So today marks one year since I have started the my, my team career in F1 2020. And uh, well, today, July 10th, 2021 marks the final race for this series. I, I am on season 10. I only did 10 races, as you can see right here. Abu Dhabi. Um, this is probably the only time you're going to hear me talking throughout the video, or maybe I will at the end, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm just going to stay quiet during the race and qualifying as well so that you guys can just enjoy the engine sounds, and I may put some music behind it, but oh man, it's it's crazy how like I've gotten to this point in this my team career because, well, I didn't think I would finish it, but uh, we're going to finish it just in time before F1 2021 comes out, which is like two, three days from now, so... It's crazy, man. But uh, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy. I know it's not a siege or battlefield video, but I thought I might as well do something like this because, well, <laughs> it's the final race of the the my team career, and plus that goodbye F1 2020 video. Uh, I'll try and get to work on it. Probably will come out later this week. But I thought I might as well record this race and have like a piece of that my team career, even though it'll be available in next year's game. But you can see right here, we already wrapped up the championship, season 10, 9, 8. I've been on, like, a championship streak since season 5, yeah. I'm a, I'm an 8-time champion, uh, if we can go here. Yep, 8-time champion, so, therefore, I am better than Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> uh, but it's just crazy, because, like, I, like, this is season 1. As you can see, our best finish was, like, second, along with some third places. Then finally broke out in season 2, and then 3... We lost out to the championship in Season 4, Season 5, from then on, we won, and uh, yeah, it's come down to this in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I may just start from the back, actually, because to make it a little bit more interesting, but otherwise, um, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you want more F1 content, then please make sure to uh, like the video and subscribe down below, and uh, without further ado, enjoy. It's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory, so we go into battle once more. As we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, we have 21. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Albon, Sebastian Vettel and Ocon, Stroll, Hubert, Norris and George Russell, Magnussen, Latifi, Nobuharu Matsushita and Schumacher, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, Jack Aitken and Nick De Vries, Joe, Giotto, Sete Camera and Parsons. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going.
is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Your safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Okay, clear. is out of the race. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Confirmed. looking good, you can use overtake to get past.
That's it now. You'll be racing as you leave the pits. Go, go, go. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. in the pits. Our gap behind is 3.1 seconds. overtake and burn some of this energy. The drivers we're fighting here are Magnussen and Leclerc.
scraps of fuel remaining. P9, you're running in P9. Norris ahead. Less than a second separate you. They're on fresh mediums. Stroll is behind you. The gap is less than a second. They're on fresh mediums. The distance to the leader is 14.7 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Four laps remaining. Stappen has just put up the fastest lap of the race so far. the car ahead but be aware that these tires need to last till the end of the race a few left. here, use overtake, use overtake. No need to worry about tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. This is your final lap, the final lap of the race.
Point race over. Take care of the car on the way in. It's been a roller coaster season then, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Parsons. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. Nothing can challenge the leaders of the Constructors' Championship at this point, but another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. We've got a lot of cash sitting around doing nothing. We should start investing that in facility improvements.